Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this today's episode of Main Stack Art Series, we are going to deep dive into a crucial topic where we are going to see how to customize the header option based on successful logins. So let's get ready to level up your authentication game as we empower your mean stack app with dynamic headers. Okay. Also, if you're watching this video for the first time, then let me tell you that we have already done 11 videos on this mean stack auth series. If you want to follow along, if you want to start with this today's video, then I will highly recommend you guys to go on my YouTube channel and you can find this playlist where we have covered around 11 parts on this mean stack. Okay, but before we jump right in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss an update. All right, so let's go now. Let's first see what we have to implement in this today's video. So on the top, if you see that we have this search bar, we have login, register, cart, welcome user and logout, and we are still on the login page. So this is not ideal to show all the options, correct? So what we will do, right? If we are on the login page, we will hide this search and these three options. Okay, which means if we are on the login login and register page, we have to show only two options on the header, which is login and register. So if I try to log in here with my credentials, and if I try to do login one, two, three, four, five, six, and if I try to hit on login, so I can see my login is success and I'm still able to see the all five options with the search bar if I'm on the home page. Okay. Which means when I'm on the home page, I have to show these three options. And if I am on my login page, then I have to show only these two options. Also, let me show you what happens if the login is success. If the login is success, right? What we have right in our response that we are sending the data and this data consists of all the user details. So what we can do that we can take this data and we can cache it in our browser and we can check if we have this data, which means the login is success. Okay. Or there is one more option that is using the cookies because we have already created cookies in the backend. We can make use of that as well, just to check if our login is success or not. So I will follow this first approach in this video where we will have to check if the data has value. If it has value, then we can say that yeah, the login is success to do. So let's go in your auth service and we'll create a new method here, which will check for if the user is logged in. Okay. So the method name is, is logged in. Okay. And what this is logged in will do, right? This is logged in will check if we have some record, if we have a user ID stored, or maybe we can make use of a local storage as well. That if the login is success, we are storing the user ID. Let's go in the login component. And here in the login, if the login is success, right? So what we will do, we'll say local storage dot set item and we will store the user ID. Okay. And the user ID is coming in the response dot data dot ID. Okay. And in this way we have stored the user ID. So let's just check if this is working or not. Okay. I have all my credential fields and I'm clicking on the login. The login is success. And now if you check your local storage so here in the local storage, you can see we have our user ID value, which means if the user ID value is there, I am logged in successfully. So what I will do now, right? So now I'm storing the user ID. So what I will do in that service of our service, we have this method. We will say return local storage dot get item and we'll check for the user ID. Okay. If the user ID is there, which means this will be true. So I have added this to exclamation, which means this will say true or false. If user ID exists, then this will be true. If it doesn't exist, then this will be false. Okay. Now let's use this method, which we have created an auth service in your header component. So in the header component, we will create our first method or we can uh, not the method. We'll use the property here is logged in of type boolean and this will be false. Now we will have to make use of the auth service. So we will use, like we will create the auth service and to use it, we have to inject it. Okay. So rather than sending like directly uh, updating this value, what we can do uh, like that, we can directly say it from here that auth service dot is logged in. Okay. So now we can see the property, uh, the, what is the type? It is still the Boolean. Okay. And we can save this changes. Now what we will do, right? We'll make use of this property on your HTML. So what we need to use that we have to separate this pan and we will make use of ng container and we will paste inside this ng container and we'll make use of ng if directive and we'll check if is logged in 
is true okay and for the above two option which is login and register we will again take this into two different uh sorry in a separate ng container and again let's paste it here and just change the boolean value okay so we'll say ngf now this will be opposite of is logged in correct because if it is not logged in then we'll add this negation and we'll add is logged in okay and same thing we have to do for the search so i will copy this and i will paste it on this line number five which is my search div okay let's save the changes now if you see right once i refresh my page i can see only three option okay but one thing to note if i click on log out i can still see that same option as if you see right once we have logged in still i can see the user id is stored okay so what we need to do this time like once we click on the logout i have to clear my local storage value so to do so what i will do let's go to your header component and let's see where is my logout option so over here right uh, so we are directly going uh, clicking on this router uh, like we are going to the router link and this takes us to the login page but what we will do right we'll create a click here and we will make use of a method called as logout okay and this method will be on your ts file so let's create the logout method so what this method will do so this will help you to clear the local storage by saying local storage dot clear item or maybe it's clear or remove yes it's remove item if you do clear then it will remove all of your local storage values so i'll just target this remove item for now and we can say your user id okay and now if i save the changes Let's see if the compile is success. Yes, it is success. And now if you, if I refresh this page, okay, now if I, sorry, I have to click on logout first. Now, can you see the ID has been removed? Now, if I refresh the page, now I can see that I have only two options, which is login and register. And we have this page. Now, let me again demonstrate it from the start. Like if I'm trying to log in again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I click on login, login is success. And can you see, I still have login register, but the value changes only when I refresh the page. Okay. And this is the same behavior for logout as well. If I click on logout, if you see the key is getting removed. Okay. But still I can see the same options to get the updated options. I have to refresh the page. Okay. So how to get rid of this? So to do so, we will have to make use of behavior subject. So the behavior subject is nothing but help you to pass the data between some unrelated components. You may have heard this a lot of times when someone is asking in the interview, like how, what is service does and what is behavior subject role in the service. Okay. So we are going to just demonstrate that in this video as well. So let's create a behavior subject. So to create that, let me leverage the same auth service. Okay. But if you want, you can create a different service and uh, do it as well, like separate files for all the different services. But let me just demonstrate it in the same service. And what I will do, right? I will create it as a uh, observable. So this will be logged in user, or I can say is logged in with a dollar sign. Okay. And this will be my new behavior subject. And the type of this is a Boolean and we can initialize it with a value called as false. So our behavior subject is created. Use the behavior subject. So, so what we can do, right? So whenever our login is done, so we have to update this observable to true. And once we do logout, so we have to again update it to false. That's it. So to once we are logging in, right? So we have to make it true. So let's go in the login component. And once the login is success, correct? So already we have auth service imported. So I can make use of that. We can say this dot auth service dot is logged in with this dollar sign and we can say dot next. Okay. Which means we are trying to update the stream with a true value. Okay. And this will make it true. And now what we need to do once we do logout, which is in the header component, we have to make that value as false. Okay. As this is already imported, so no need to do that. All right, so this is done. But what we need to do, right? Once the value is getting changed, we have to trigger. So the observable gets triggered every time the value is updated. Okay, so if you are doing logout, we have to say this as false. I'm sorry. So let me just update this. Yeah, it's done now. Let's save all the changes. Now in this header component, we will have to implement the ng on in it. So we have to say on in it and then let's use it. Okay, this on in it method. So what we will do, we will check for that particular value if, if the is logged in values updated so what we will do we'll say this dot auth service dot is logged in okay so if you see this guy we can say next which is which means we can provide a value to an observable and also we can subscribe to that value if there is any change okay so this is what i'm that's why i'm going to subscribe to this now 
okay whenever i subscribe whenever there is a value change what i am doing right i'm again calling this auth service to check if the user is logged in or not because previously what we were doing that we have to refresh the page to check if it is logged in or not but what i am doing by using behavior subject so this stream is it's something kind of a life thing like we don't require any reload to happen okay so that's why this observable is so important to learn in angular okay so this will check for that is logged in real time i don't have to refresh the page and do so okay let's save all the changes now i think i know need to call this service two times whenever my page loads so i can remove this and i can make this first false because anyway this value is getting updated okay now with this set of implementation let's go on your browser and again let's test how it is working now so now let me just remove everything and let me do the demonstration so this is my email with this password and I click on login. The login is success. And now if you see still it's the same. Let's see what went wrong problem. So what we are doing here, we are not updating this is logged in value. And that was the problem. So what we'll do, we'll just say this dot is logged in and equals to this. So once you initialize this value in the ng on in it, I think everything should be okay now. Let's save all the changes and do the demo again. Okay, this is my email, one, two, three, four, five, six, with password. If I click on login, this time, yes, can you see, I am getting these three options. Even if I do the refresh, it's still there. And if you do the logout here as well, can you see, this is also updating life. We don't need to do refresh. So in this way, we have seen how we can make use of a behavior subject in Angular to do such kind of an implementation. This can also be done using uh, Angular signals. And if you want to learn how we can do that in uh, by using signals, then you can... Uh, go on my youtube channel and you can uh, watch my video about what is signals in angular and trust me this will help you to do the same implementation by using the angular signals and trust me this is one of the best feature what angular 16 has given to us so that's it from this today's video where we have learned how we can change the navigation menu based on the login and in the next video we will see how we can make use of your user profiles to change this option where we have this welcome user so we can update this user dynamically with the logged in user okay and also in the next uh, upcoming parts we will design this book my book dashboard where we will have all the list of books and we will try to perform the crud operation by using node.js uh, which involves adding of the books updating the books deleting the books and getting all the books and also we'll do the book details which is get by id if you want to know more about that then you can go on my youtube videos and you can check for this mean stack development uh, project demo where i have showcased that what we are going to implement in the upcoming videos so that's a wrap for today's mean stack authentication adventure i hope you found this episode on customizing header options both informative and exciting if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please do me a favor by smashing that like button and share this video with your fellow developers your support keeps me going remember to subscribe and turn on the notification so you are the always first one to know when we drop the fresh content and as always if you have any questions or suggestion for future topics leave them in the comment section below i love hearing from you so thanks for joining us in this mean stack video until next time happy coding guys